New developments tonight in a story we first told you about last month. A man attacked by a grizzly bear south of Big Sky will finally be leaving a Salt Lake City Hospital. And tonight he's sharing part of his story. KUTV's Amanda Gilbert reports. Five weeks after a grizzly bear took off part of Rudy Norlander's jaw, he is slowly starting to speak again. Uh. A little, he says. While his daughters, Caitlin Davis and Ashley Norlander, share his biggest message to others. Most of the important things in the world have been accomplished by people who have kept on trying when there seemed to be no hope at all. Even if there seems to be no hope, keep on fighting. Rudy says he's used to seeing bears while working outdoors in Montana. His first encounter with a bear was actually when he was 10. In the day he was attacked, he knew what he was doing. Usually you'll hear or smell them first. Generally they run away. You usually can scare them too. But he was prepared. You know, he's gone off that trail multiple times. He had bear spray. He had a gun. He just didn't have time. His family is grateful he wasn't alone that day. Having people with him is truly part of the reason that saved him. Humor and positivity, that has been a huge part of Rudy's recovery and story, but also his compassion. On the same exact trail that they were on, there was four older than him hikers on the trail too. So he said he actually was glad that it was him and not somebody else. Rudy has since undergone a 10 hour surgery to reconstruct his jaw. He spent five weeks at the University of Utah without being able to talk or eat. It's a story new to his surgeon. Lee bear attacks um, is new for me. Rudy just can't wait to get back home to his dog Sully in Montana. And what a great reunion that will be. And certainly a great message from Rudy to keep on fighting, inspiring us all. Again, that's KUTV's Amanda Gilbert reporting.